Hi, Tom Condon here. I'm looking forward to coming to Chicago or the Chicago area September 28th and 29th to do a workshop called Deeper into the Enneagram, Four Powerful Paths to Change. And what this is, is an exploration of different methods and how they can be applied to working with the Enneagram, working with the dilemmas that the Enneagram suggests and overcoming some of the defenses and the low side reactions, the automatic reactions that people have within their Enneagram style, and how to grow and change, how to uh, really apply this thing, how to truly grow and change, and to understand what methods work with what styles and what the parameters are. Um, basically, I break the existing methods and new methods that I'll be presenting down into four categories. Uh, number one is standing back. This is, uh, this encompasses uh, just the, the kind of insight that you get and the self-understanding that you get from studying the Enneagram, but also learning how to disassociate from some of the reactions and some of the patterns so that you have more choices and more freedom and kind of recognize the difference between yourself and your pattern, uh, kind of ceasing to take your own behavior as personally as you might have. And also included in this is applying different models and other kinds of uh, systems of insight into understanding the Enneagram in a new way. And then the second approach to change is uh, going against, and this is uh, this encompasses things like pattern interruptions, where you recognize that you're sinking into a typical reaction that's characteristic of the low side of your Enneagram style. You're a four and you're sinking into a mood and you instead go for a walk in a park or a walk in nature. You do something that interrupts the pattern and trains trains you or trains others in how to have uh, counter examples and other choices other ways to react when you kind of recognize that you're reacting without choice pattern interruption is part of it and also in um, uh, gathering up the strengths and resources and capacities that you have in other aspects of your life and applying them to the defensive low side reactions of the Enneagram, your Enneagram style, so that you remind yourself of your strengths and have your strengths kind of uh, minister to your weaknesses, so to speak. Have, your, have what's uh, the high side of your Enneagram style influence the low side of your Enneagram style, so to speak. The third distinction is going with and this means going more deeply into a reaction, especially a defensive reaction, and discovering what you're trying to do for yourself or what someone else that you're working with, if you're a coach or a counselor or a therapist, is trying to do for themselves by reacting out of the low side of their style, reacting in a way that is typical of their, their compulsion or fixation. And getting to the bottom of it, getting to the, the root of an unconscious intention that uh, you might have that drives behavior in a sort of compulsive way, but is also designed to help you take care of yourself on some level and to uh, help you maintain your well-being. Uh, usually these sorts of understandings reveal the way in which a defense got going early in life and is a perfectly appropriate reaction for times in the past and places in the past where you had to adapt to certain circumstances and now in the world of 2019 uh, maybe not so much so that's another angle on it and then the the fourth path is going beyond which encompasses things like modeling the strengths of other Enneagram styles and making them your own, 
There are some very good methods for doing this. And also opening up to a broader vision of the world and a, 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 a more accurate and up-to-date picture of yourself and living a more complete life. And this, uh, this part is also very powerful. So those are the, the four areas that we'll be exploring. And it'll help you understand what you're doing already or what you may be doing in working with other people if you're a coach or a counselor or a therapist. And in addition, there'll be some relatively new methods. I think there, there are things that come out of my background in Ericksonian hypnosis and working with imagery and NLP that I haven't seen applied very often to the Enneagram and that are actually quite powerful and quite useful. So the workshop will be in Skokie, Illinois at the Doubletree Inn on Skokie Boulevard and it's September 28th and 29th. Uh, hope this sounds like something of interest to you and hope to see you there. Thanks a lot.